Hi guys, so welcome sa ating last part ng topic na helical spring. So, ayan, so dito tayo sa mas komplikadong sample problems, no? So, example number 4, a rigid bar pinned at O is supported by two identical light springs as shown in the figure. Each spring consists of 20 turns of 3 fourth inch diameter wire having a mean diameter of 6 inch. Determine the maximum load W that may be supported if the shearing stresses in the springs is limited to 20 KSI. Okay? So, paano isolve ito kala? So, first thing to do again is to draw the figure. So, ito siya. And then, so, ito yung pin at O. And then, nandito dito yung low W. And then, nandito dito yung mga spring natin, no? So, identical daw yung spring natin. So, isang property lang meron sila. So, meron silang N na equal sa 20 turns. Diameter is 3 fourth inch. And then, meron siyang mean diameter D na uh, 6 inch. Okay. Okay, so, binigyan din tayo class na, ang tinatanong kasi, gano'n daw kalaki ng W without exceeding yung uh, maximum shear stress or double shear stress ng spring natin na 20 KSI. So, binigyan tayo ng shear stress is 20 KSI. So, hindi natin yung pwedeng exceed sa both spring natin. So, paano itong isolve class? So, una, palabasin muna natin yung mga internal forces, no? Pati yung mga support reaction. So, so, dito, meron yung support reaction na pa ganito. Tapos, possibly, meron siyang pa ganito rin. No? So, let's say, ito yung point O natin. So, therefore, ito is uh, OB and then ito yung is OH. Okay, vertical and horizontal component. And then, imagine natin na class, no? In, uh, check mo to. Uh, let's say, nakapin siya sa ano? Sa O. So, pag hinihila mo to bababa due to weight. So, anong gagawin nito class? Nung spring na ito, hindi mag-resist yung pataas, diba? While dito, class, sa likod. So, hilayan natin pa baba. So, pa, ang gagawin yung pigil naman is itutulak nyo naman ito downward. Okay? So, therefore, kung titignan ko to therefore, dito is merong upward. And then, dito is merong downward force. Let's say, ito is ano? P1 for spring 1. Let's say, spring 1 ito. And then, ito is P2. Let's say, ito is spring 2. Do pareha silang, ano, property ng spring. Pero, class, that, that, ano, uh, that does not necessarily mean na, ano, na same yung amount ng P1 sa P2. So, identical sila, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, parehas yung force na i-carry nila. Okay, ngayon, bigyan natin ng relationship yung P1, P2, saka yung W. So, elim eliminate natin tong O sa analysis dahil hindi mo natin siya kailangan. So anyways. So lagay natin yung mga dimension. So this one is 2 feet. 4 feet and then 3 feet. So paano natin ito ma-eliminate? Yung O. Hindi na tayo. Mag-take tayo ng summation at O is equal to 0. So by taking summation of moment at O is equal to 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So that Ano mangyayari? Uh, clockwise. So, ito negative, negative. Ito is pababa, ba? Clockwise ito. So, ito magiging negative P1 by 2. And then, ito is uh, counterclockwise rin siya, no? So, negative P2 by 4. And then, ito is clockwise. So, plus weight and then moment arm is 17. So, equal 0. So, basta makuha natin yung correct amount value ng P1 and then P2, masalaman na natin itong W. So, dyan lang muna yung relationship na yan. Ngayon, saan pa natin kukunin yung further relationship na itong dalawang uh, 
P1 and then P2 na to. E di dun sa ano, sa deform shape niya, di ba? So, uh, drawing natin yung deform shape ng ano natin. Na itong mga uh, spring natin. No? So, pag ito is nagkaroon ng weight dito, gaganyan siya, di ba? Gaganito siya. So, therefore, parang ganito. So, exaggerate ko lang. So, para magiging ganito yung bar natin. Okay. So, therefore, from the initial point, papunta dun sa final point, ito ngayon yung mga giging deformation ng spring 1 natin. And then, mula dito sa initial point, papunta dito sa final point, ito ngayon yung magiging deformation ng spring 2 natin. Okay. So, relating in deformation ng dalawang spring, so, paano yun? Plus, use, so, use tayo ng ano, ah, uh, Similar triangle, no? So, parang ganito yan. So, yan. Ayan. So, not drawn to scale, no? So, this one is 2 feet. This one is 4 feet. Tapos, ito yung deformation 2, deformation 1. So, by ratio and proportion, So, height is to base is equal to height is to base. So, that deformation 1 over 2 is equal sa deformation 2 over 4. Or simply, the relationship is 2 deformation 1 is equal sa deformation 2. Okay? So, meron na tayo na itong, ano relationship ng mga deformation. So, pwede na natin itong i-rewrite in terms of P using yung formula ng deformation class kung marirecall mo. Okay, so so, rewrite lang natin dito, no? So, sabi ko, 2 deformation 1 is equal to deformation 2. But deformation in terms of P is what? So, that is 64 P R cube N over G D raised to 4. Tama. And then, dito is 64 P R cube N over G D raised to 4. But, since same sila, identical sila, di ba? Ito yung property nila. So, therefore, yung N1, the same sa N2. Yung radius 1, equal lang sa mean radius 2. And then, yung G, same lang. Yung diameter, uh, same lang din. So, ano matitira class? Ayan, cancel din itong 64. So, matitira that 2P1 is equal to P2. Okay? So, kung titignan ko itong relationship class is that P2 is greater than P1 kasi kasi ano eh, diba twice nyo yung value ng P1. Kung si P1 is 10, so si P2 is 20 yung i-carry niya. So, therefore, si P2 carries larger value, no? No, pag tinignan ko to that P2 is ano, mas malaki kaysa sa P1. So, therefore, may, mas critical si uh, spring 2. So, therefore, etong maximum, kung titignan ko itong dalawa na to kung sinong unang makakareach ng maximum na shear stress na 20 KSI, eto yun, class. Siya yung unang makakareach. Okay, so, solve natin yung P2. Equate natin siya sa tau max. So, since uh, P2 is uh, more critical than P1. So, sa kanya ko i-relate -re itong tau max. So, tau max is equal sa ano ba to? Light spring ba to? Yes, light spring. So, gagamitin ko yung basic formula na 16 PR over pi d cube and then 1 plus d over 4 R. Okay. So, gagamitin ko yung 2, ah. So, magiging, ano to. Uh, tau max is 20 KSI. So, gagawin ko 20,000 PSI is equal to 16. So, P2. Ilan yung R2 class? So, binigyan tayo ng diameter. So, R2 is 3 inch over pi uh, 3 fourths inch cube. And then, 1 plus... 3 fourths inch over 4 times 3 inch. 
Okay, so masasab ko ngayon yung P2. Ilan ang P2 class? Okay, so sagot sa P2 is 519.75. Seventy-five, and then the unit is what? So kung PSI ito, therefore magiging in pounds ito. No? So yun na yung P2. So using this relationship ng P1 and then P2, so therefore P1 is how much? So over 2. So that is 259.87. Okay, so meron na akong P1 and then P2 actual values no, wherein yung P2, minaximize ko siya hanggang ma-reach niya yung 20,000 PSI na shear stress and then ito yung P1, ito yung maging equivalent amount niya para masatisfy natin tong compatibility equation natin relating yung mga deformation. So, tinatanong is yung, uh, yung, yung, yung value ng weight, di ba? So, makuha na natin yung dito. Okay, so that negative P1 is 259.87 ounce by 2 and then minus uh, 519.75 pounds and then times 4 and then plus W times the moment arm unit 7 equals 0. So solving for the uh, largest weight na pwedeng i-carry. No? So ilan yan class? Check ko lang yung mga bits yung ulat ko klas ha. 5, 1, 9, 7, 8. Okay, so. So, sagot is 371.25. 25 and then the unit is pounds. So, therefore, ito na yung largest safe value ng W without exceeding yung mga allowable sure stress ng ating uh, spring. Okay, so check natin class kung correct ang ating mga sagot. So, correct, no? Okay. And then, lastly, last problem, no? So, next. So, as shown in the figure, a homogeneous 50 kilogram rigid block is suspended by the three light springs whose lower ends were originally at the same level. Each still has 24 turns of 20, 10 mm diameter and the mean diameter of 100 mm and G is equal to 83 gigapascal. The bronze spring has 48 turns of 20 mm diameter wire on a mean diameter of 150 millimeters and G is equal to 42 gigapascal. Compute the maximum shearing stress in each spring. Okay. So, ano ba to? Light spring, no? Sinabi, no? Three light spring. So, ganun pa rin, no? Ang analysis natin in basic formula lang. So, anyways, paano ba to? Medyo complicated yung ganitong type ng problem. So, anyways, first step to do is, i-draw yung figure. So, ayan siya, no? Dito may steel. Steel 1 steel 2, tapos dito merong bronze. Okay. Ngayon, binigyan tayo ng mga properties. Sulat muna natin. Anyways, itong weight, gagawin ko na siyang in newtons, no? Kasi nakagrams pa siya, eh. So, weight is equal to mass times gravity. So, 50 kilogram times 9.81 meters per second squared. So, ilan ang equivalent weight? Para naka-newton na ako class pag nagsusolve. So, 490.5 newtons. Okay? So, initially horizontal daw siya, no? So, binigay tayo properties ng steel. So, for steel, uh, anong binigay? 
So, meron siyang 24 turns. 10 mm in diameter. Uh, diameter, mean diameter, so capital D, is 100 mm. And then G is 83 gigapascal. Okay. How about naman dito, class? Uh, para sa bronze, so, pinigyan tayo ng N, 48 turns, diameter, 20 mm, and then, capital D is 150 millimeters, and then, yung G is 42 gigapascal. Okay, so ano mangyayari dito kala? So, ito yung uh, bar natin no? to be supported by nung tatlong spring. So, tendency, dahil sa weight, bababa siya. So, mangyayari, ito magre-resist na mga upward. So, therefore, ito is meron dito. Uh, PS, let's say PS1 for spring 1. And then, dito is meron ding ano. Uh, PS2 for steel 2. So, ito is meron din dito upward resistance na P-bronze naman, PB. Okay, so therefore meron tayong tatlong unknowns, no? Yung PS1, PS2, saka yung P ng bronze. So, paano natin makuha yung mga unknowns na yun, class? E di, gawa natin ng relationship using equations of equilibrium. So, since tatlo ang unknowns, kailangan tatlo yung mag-generate kong equation. So, saan unang, yung saan kukunin yung unang equation class? E di yung ano, by taking summation of forces vertical is equal to zero, considering forces upward, are upward forces positive, no? So, that, PS1 plus PS2 plus P ng bronze minus yung weight na 490.5 equal na ngayon sa zero. So, therefore, meron na ako Equation 1, relating yung mga forces. Next, saan pa? Kasi kailangan tatlo eh. So, saan pa pwede class? Uh, Mag-take naman siguro ko ng ano, moment, summation of moment. So, let's say ito is 1 meter, ito is ilan to? Uh, 2 meters. So, for a total length of 3 meters now. So, let's say ito is A. B, C. So, bala nga sa mag gusto mag-moment. So, dito na lang ako moment sa C. So, by taking summation of moment at C equals 0, considering clockwise moments positive. So, ito clockwise, clockwise, and then counter. So, that PS1 times the moment arm is 3 plus PS2 times the moment arm is 2 and then minus 490.5 and then moment arm neto. So, Dahil homogeneous naman yan. So, exactly nasa mid-span yan. So, kung 3 to 1.5. Equal 0. So, therefore, ito na ngayon yung equation to natin. Okay? So, isa pang equation class. Saan man natin kukunin yan? So, doon na doon. Pupunta na tayo ngayon sa compatibility equation. No? Sa relationship ng mga deformation. So, i-imagine natin. No? Kapag itong bar na to, is hinila natin siya. Uh, or bumaba siya due to self-weight. So, pantay-pantay pa rin ba yung pagbaba niya, class? Hindi na, no? Kasi nangyayari lang yun, class, kapag symmetrical yung uh, positioning ng mga supports natin. Since hindi naman to symmetrical at hindi naman siya same na ang mga materials natin, so may tendency na pag ito bumaba, so let's say, pag ganyan siya, pag ganyan, kung mas malaking mag-deform itong bronze, or possible na ganyan, Okay? Basta malabo yung class na horizontal. Okay? Okay. So, ang gagawin ko class, mag a ako. i a ko na mas malaking deformation dito sa bronze side. So, pag ganito siya. Okay? Therefore, yung final orientation nito is pag ganito. Okay? We're in from the initial point hanggang dito, ito yung deformation ng uh, sti, uh, spring 1 natin na steel. So, deformation ng 
uh, steel one. So, mula naman dito, hanggang dito, ito naman yung magiging deformation ng ating uh, steel spring 2. And then, mula dito, initial point hanggang final point niya, ito naman yung magiging uh, deformation ng bronze natin. Okay? So, kailangan mabigyan natin ng relationship to para magawa pa tayo ng additional uh, equation para masolve na natin yung mga forces carried ng mga materials natin. So, labas lang natin siya dito bahagya. So, ito yan. So, this one is 1 meter. This one is 2 meters. Okay, so, gawin natin horizontal. Ayan. So, ito is deformation ng steel spring 1, deformation ng steel spring 2, deformation ng bronze. So, paano natin mabibigyan ng relationship yung tatlo class? Di gawa tayo ng triangle. Okay, so, ito yung triangle. So, therefore, yung length na to, ilan to class? E di deformation ng steel 2 minus deformation ng steel 1. So, deformation ng steel 2 minus deformation ng steel 1. Ito ilan to class? E di deformation ng bronze. Diba? Deformation siya ng bronze minus itong sa steel 1. Deformation ng bronze minus steel 1. Okay. So, therefore, naka-generate na ako ng triangle. No? And then, pwede na ako mag- Ratio and proportion. So, by ratio and proportion, we can say that height is to base, height is to base. So, deformation ng uh, steel 2 minus deformation ng steel 1 over 1 is equal sa, ito naman, height. Deformation ng bronze minus deformation ng steel 1 over yung base niya is 3. Uh, okay. So, ngayon, cross-multiply natin sa magiging 3 deformation ng steel 2 minus 3 deformation ng steel 1 is equal sa deformation ng bronze minus deformation ng steel 1. Okay? So, and pagsama-sama natin yung like terms or lagay natin sa isang side, so, lipat ko to dito sa magiging negative 3, ah, negative 3 or 2 rather, negative 2 deformation ng steel 1, ito yun, saka ito, and then plus 3 deformation ng steel 2 minus, ito lipat ko to dito, so deformation ng bronze is equal to 0. So, ngayon, ito na ngayon yung nagbibigay ng relationship ng mga deformation ng ating mga material. So, ngayon class, itong deformation, i-convert natin siya into uh, force P, no? Using yung formula ng mga deformation. So, magiging ano to? Negative 2, 64, eh di magiging ano? PS1. Ano ulit yung formula ng class? Ulit nga muna natin. So, deformation is equal to 64 PR cube N over GD raised to 4. Okay, so magiging 64P and then RS1 cube and S1 over GS1 DS1 raised to 4 and then plus 3 so 64 PS2 RS2 cube and S2 over G S2 D S2 raised to 4 and then minus sa bronze is 64 P ng bronze R ng bronze cube N ng bronze over G ng bronze and then D ng bronze raised to 4 equals 0 okay so medyo naging mahaba lang sya nung ngayon simplify lang natin using mga given na values so, cancel muna natin to 64 plus para mapaunti ko. Okay. So, ayan na. So, magiging negative 2. PS1. Ilan tong RS1 class? So, 
100 to the 4 radius is 50 mm. So, magiging 50 cube. Yung n niya is 24. Over yung g niya is 83. So, dito class, hindi ko na i-convert yung 83 kasi magka-cancel lang naman yan sa lahat ng terms. Okay? Para lang masimplify ko yung solution ko. Mapaiksi ko siya. So, 83 and then, itong diameter ng steel one is 10 mm. So, 10 raised to 4 plus 3. So, magiging PS2. And then, di ba yung, yung mga radius N saka G saka D, same lang kasi same nga sila. Identical sila, di ba? So, copy ko na lang to. So, magiging 50 cube 24 over 83 by 10 raised to 4. And then, minus uh, P ng bronze. Ilan yung radius ng bronze? So, diameter is 150. So, therefore, radius is 75 mm. So, 75 cube N ng bronze, 48. Over G ng bronze, 42. So, hindi ko nakakonvert yan. And then, uh, D. So, 20 mm. Raised to 4. So, A equals 0. So, pwede natin i-simplify ito class para mas maging madali siyang tingnan. So, simplify lang muna natin. No? So, magiging uh, simplify na lang naman. Hindi ko napapakita. Negative 2 times 50 cube times 24 over 83 times 10 raised to 4. So, this one is uh, negative 600 over 83. And then, merong PS1. And then, plus 3 times 50 cube times 24. 83 times 10 raised to 4. So, this one is 900 over 83. PS2. And then, minus. Ano ba tinatanong dito, class? Compute the maximum shearing stress in each spring, no? Medyo mahaba yung tanong. Okay, so bilisan na lang natin class. And then next is sa PB, ito. So this one is negative 75 cube by 48 by 42 by 20 raised to 4. So ilan yan? So negative 675.224 and then P ng bronze is equal to 0. So therefore finally class, ito na yung ano, simplified equation 3 natin. Okay, so... Equation 1 ang galing sa ano? Equations of equilibrium. Ganon din yung equation 2. Sa moment naman siya nang galing. And then yung last is sa relationship ng mga deformations nila. So 3 equations, 3 unknowns, so solvable ang uh, mga values ng P natin. No? So, kaya nang pumindot, pakita ko na lang class. Ayan, sa so ilan yung P ng S1, P, S2, saka ilan yung P carried ng bronze. So, gagamitin ko dyan is mode 5 and then uh, 2. No? Para lang mapabilis yung solution ko. So, mode 5, 2. So, that is 1, 1, 1, 490.5. So, pakita ko ba? Ayan. And then, dito is 3, 2, and then 0, tapos 490.5 times 1.5. And then, dito, input ko to. So, input ko yan. So, magiging negative 600 over 83. Tapos, 900 over 83. Tapos, negative 675 over 224. So, 0. So, ayan na. May nakuha na ako mga values ng 
uh, P. So, for PS1, ang nakuha ko is 144.7756 uh, 5555. Next is 150.711 And then 195.0128278 All units is in Newtons. Okay. Pero hindi pa yun yung na plus na. No? Anyways, nakuha natin yung mga positive value. Ibig sabihin ng positive, correct yung direction natin. Correct yung assumption natin. So, solving for the shear stresses. Maximum shear stress. So, for uh, steel 1. Steel 1. So, tau max is equal sa so, ang gagamitin ng formula is yung 16 PR over pi d cube and then 1 plus d over 4 R. Okay, so uh, tau S1 is equal sa 16. Yung P niya is ito. So, 144.78. Yan na lang. Okay na yung glass. Newtons. Radius is 50 mm pi times 10 mm cube. And then, 1 plus 10 mm over 4. And then, yung R is 50 mm. So, ilan ang uh, maximum shear stress sa steel one. Sagot is uh, 38.71. The unit is MPA since Newton saka MM yung gamit ko. And then next, for steel 2, so that is TS2 is equal sa ano? Ganun pa rin yung formula, no? So 16 and then Yung P niya is, eto na, yung 150.71. And then, radius is 50 mm. So, pi times diameter cube. So, 10 pa rin yun. So, 1 plus uh, 10 mm over 4 times 50 mm. So, ilan na uh, shear stress sa steel tube. So, papalitan ko lang yung ano, ng 150.71. So, ilan ang sagot? So, sagot is 40.30 MPA. And then, lastly, class, no? At sa wakas, natapos tayo. So, for bronze so tau ng bronze is equal sa 16 ilan yung p ng bronze ito 195.01 newton so ilan ang radius so 75 mm over pi tapos diameter is 20 mm and then cube and then 1 plus 20 mm over the 4 times the radius na 75 mm. Okay, so for bronze now, taon ng bronze equals So, 16 times 195.01 times 75 over pi times 20 cube and then 1 plus 20 over 4 by 75. So, ilan ang sagot? So, sagot is 9.93 MPA. Okay.
Okay. So, ayun na. Medyo mahaba lang ang proseso kasi tatlo yung unknown. So, kinailangan natin ng three equations. Yung dalawa doon ang galing sa equations of equilibrium. Yung third equation ang galing sa relationship ng mga deformation. Yung compatibility equation natin. And then, pag nasod na yung mga forces, nasod na natin yung mga uh, shear stress na na-develop sa ating mga materials. Okay? So, let us check class kung tama ang ating mga sagot. So, 38.71, 40.30, and then 9.93 MPA. So, correct ang lahat ng sagot. Okay? So, hanggang dyan na lang class yung topic natin na helical springs. So, sana nag-guess nyo kung paano gamitin ang formula. Okay? And then, kung paano mag-solve ng mga hinahanap. So, hanggang dito na lang class. So, thank you guys for watching and God bless.